The Daily Trainer is a workhorse in your running shoe rotation. It's a shoe that you should be able to reach for on any given day for just about any kind of run. And today, I'll be going over my five favorite daily trainers of 2021. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kofuzi and I am a non-elite runner who has been able to try a bunch of shoes. And this year I wanna talk about my five favorite daily trainers. Before I do that, I do wanna go over some disclosures. Some of these shoes were shoes that were sent to me for the purpose of review and some of these shoes I purchased myself. However, regardless of how a shoe got to me, no one is paying me to make this video or to include their shoe on this list. And no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about my five favorite daily trainers of 2021. First, let's start with my favorite, the Nova Blast 2. This is a shoe that I think is absolutely fantastic to run in. I can recommend it to just about anyone, no matter their skill level. And that's because it has a wonderful Flight Foam Blast midsole. It's a spongy material that compresses nicely when your foot hits the ground, but it also decompresses nicely as well. So that way it has a nice snappy ride. For 2021, it underwent only very minor changes from last year where it seemed like the only real complaint that people had was that the shoe was a bit too squishy, maybe a little bit on the squirrely side. So what they did this year is they added two millimeters stack height in the forefoot and changed the shape of the foam a little bit while keeping the ultimate formulation of the foam the same and what that change in shape and thickness did was it made it so it felt a little bit less squirrely underfoot and i think that it has been an improvement for most of the people out there so that it can keep that springy spongy comfortable sensation while still being a lively shoe that you could use for your easy runs and for any runs where you might need to pick up the pace i think they also made some welcome improvements to the upper last year's upper felt to me a little bit loose almost borderline sloppy but they've tightened things up a bit without making it snug and too tight so the fit is a lot better this year a lot of the extra stuff from the upper in 2020 is gone for 2021 so what asics managed to do was take a phenomenal rookie year shoe and improve on it which is a rare accomplishment in pretty much any industry but especially in the running shoe industry and so i'm very impressed with the, what they were able to do with the no blast 2 and it takes my top spot for my favorite daily trainer of the year Next, let's talk about the Mach 4, which comes in really close right behind it. It's an amazing shoe that I've also been enjoying for many of the same reasons. It's got a nice squishy feeling when your foot hits the ground, but it also still feels like a speedy shoe. It's a shoe that I was able to take on short runs and long runs as well. And anytime I had some changes of pace where I had to pick it up a little bit, the Mach 4 was definitely eager and willing to go a little bit faster. The shoe came with a lot of hype, but for me, it definitely lived up to it. It's a shoe that I've been seeing everywhere on the feet of a lot of runners out there, and I certainly understand why. It's a shoe that I really enjoyed this year for just about any kind of run, and that's why it's my number two favorite daily trainer of 2021. For number three, I'm gonna go with another shoe that I had not tried before this year, and that is the New Balance 880 version 11. This shoe is a bit of a sleeper. It looks a little bit unassuming. It's not flashy. It just looks like a regular running shoe. And I think that it performs like a regular running shoe, which is what you want your daily trainers to do. It is a quiet, understated shoe that really delivers though. And if you are looking for something that doesn't scream like super modern tech, but it still has the super modern tech in terms of the foams, this is a shoe that you want to look at. 
Also, if you are someone that really looks for durability as one of the main things that you're looking at in your daily trainer, then I think of all the shoes I'm gonna be talking about today, the 880 version 11 is the one you should look at. It has the most outsole rubber. At first, I was really resenting how much outsole rubber they had in it. I felt like they could have made an even better shoe if they had went with kind of a more judicious amount of rubber but I see where they're going with the shoe. They really want it to be the shoe that you could beat up and run in mile after mile after mile. And the durability is certainly there. And while I do think it takes a little bit of potential off the shoe, overall the shoe is still a fantastic shoe that you can easily reach for on just about any day and just about any kind of run. And it's gonna do a great job of it. It's one of those set it and forget it shoes. You put it on, you go for your run, you get your workout in, and the shoe doesn't come into your mind at all because it's just doing its job. And because it does its job so well, that's why I put the 880 version 11 as number three in my favorite daily trainers of 2021. Coming in at number four, we're gonna go back to Hoka, and this year we're gonna go with the Clifton Eight. Now, I think that the Clifton Eight is the best Clifton that Hoka has ever made. Caveat there is that I never tried the original Clifton one. I feel like people that ran in the original Clifton one, they're kind of ruined for all the other Cliftons that came after it. There's just something about that shoe. It has like a cult following. I came in in the Clifton, I think at the Clifton five, I think maybe the first one that I've run in. And since then, I feel like there's been very subtle changes every single year in the Clifton, but they're all going in a very consistent direction. And what they're doing is they're kind of streamlining the shoe, taking out a lot of the things that aren't necessary, distilling the Clifton into what I think is a signature Hoka experience. I think what you're getting is a lot of comfort in the shoe. You're getting that rocker sensation in the forefoot so that the shoe rolls really easily, even at slower paces or even when you're fatigued. But also the shoe can still move even though it does look like a little bit of a larger shoe. So you're getting a good combination of comfort, ease on the body, but also the ability to still pick up the pace if you need to. I've taken the shoe for short runs, I've taken the shoe for long runs, and it can handle it all well. It's my favorite Clifton ever, and that's why it's coming in at number four of my favorite daily trainers. For number five, I'm gonna to resort to a little bit of a wild card. That's something I'm gonna do in all the categories that I go over for the top five videos that I make for the rest of the year. And this year's wild card is gonna be the Nike Vomero 16. And the reason why I'm calling it a wild card is in previous years, I put the Vomero in the max cushion category, but this year, I don't think it really fits there. I think it belongs right here in the daily trainer category. And that's because of the materials in the midsole. They're using the same new larger Zoom Air Pocket that you see in the Pegasus 38, but instead of the React foam that's in the Peg 38, this year in the Vomero 16, you've got a combination of ZoomX foam and SRO2. Now, what is that SRO2 foam? It's a foam that looks and compresses and feels to me a lot like the Cushlon that used to be the foam that was in previous older generations of the Pegasus, the versions of the Pegasus that I fell in love with. And so it's a familiar foam to me that I think works really well in combination with the Zoom X and with that new bigger Zoom Air Pocket. And ultimately the ride that I'm getting from it is a daily trainer ride. It's something that's comfortable, but doesn't feel max cushion comfortable. It's something that I feel like I could pick up the pace in easily and doesn't feel like it's out of place when I'm asking it to do that. Now it does have some kind of max cushion type elements. It's got a really puffy tongue and the heel collar is just nothing but foam that feels like memory foam in there. And that part I don't love. I don't think puffiness personally equates to comfort in my mind, but that's kind of like the trend in a lot of the max cushion shoes. So what I end up thinking about the Vomero 16 is that it's more of like a a plush version of the Pegasus. Like you got the Pegasus, you got the Pegasus Turbo, you got the Pegasus Trail. And then with the Vomero, you've got like the Pegasus plush or the grand touring version. It's just a little bit more comfortable, but in its essence, I think it's a daily trainer and it has that Pegasus familiarity, a shoe that I run in for many, many years over many, many miles. And because of that, because of how well it's doing as a daily trainer, I'm putting the Vomero 16 as my wild card at number five for my favorite daily trainer. So those are my favorite daily trainers of 2021. Let me know if you have different daily trainers on your list as your favorites. I'd love to hear what you guys are running in. Put it in the comments down below. Or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?